At the end of the day, in the work that we do in a hospice, invariably, every life is precious and sacred. And despite the limitations, a lot can be achieved during this period of time. And the role of the hospice is help uh, patients and their family achieve that potential. It is a privilege to be able to witness the courage, love, um, the strengths that rise above the occasion that our patients and families have shown us. And I think that's the greatest gift to us. Hospice care is also about a very holistic way of approaching the person. That means we consider um, the other domains of care, such as the psychological, social, um, emotional, spiritual aspects of care as well. And we include as a matter of uh, principle, um, the family. We got married in 1955. Uh, they didn't have a civil marriage. Uh, they went through like a, a, a cultural ceremony where they invited friends. They, they have got two children, two, two boys. One is 55 years old now and the other one is 48. The strength of the love is so strong, uh, they were able to overcome the odds. Now. To renew the vows was something very meaningful to her. To be here in this place where she feels very loved and very respected. And uh, it says everybody was so kind to her and the love around her was overwhelming. So the ceremony is completed. Let us give praise and thanks to her. It is not the role of the hospice to take away hope of our patients and their family, but really for us to see what can we make sense of this hope, what can we translate that into the quality of life and activities of daily living. For someone who is facing end-of-life issues, really if we were to focus on death, there is only one type of death. There's nothing much that you can do about death. But if we were to focus on life, and that's powerful.